Soils are very important, like air and water, for our lives. Soil is responsible for the food we eat. 95% of food is produced on soils by farmers. It is very important for climate change mitigation because soils are able to sequester the car carbon dioxide that is in the atmosphere. Soil organic carbon is the main component of soil organic matter and this matter is the result of the decomposition of crop and plant residues. The higher content of soil organic carbon, the richer and more fertile a soil is. It is fundamental for food production because soil organic carbon is the main nutrient source for plants. It is also important for soil biodiversity because the living organisms are fed by this carbon and they create the proper environment for its subsistence. It is very crucial for water retention because soil organic carbon has that capacity to act like a sponge so water can be infiltrated and stored for a long time. 33% of our soils are currently degraded for a number of types of degradation. Definitely there is a need to take action to revert this degradation and to avoid further degradation. One of the tools that we believe is fundamental in order to understand whether if we are degrading or whether if we are improving is a glo the global soil organic carbon map. Because soil organic carbon map is a con an indicator of soil health. This map, which was produced by member countries, is really telling us where we have more or less carbon stocks in the first 30 centimeters of our global soils. With that, we will be able to understand what policies and actions can be taken in order to sequester more carbon or in order to protect the high uh, soil organic carbon rich soils. For example, 60% of the total soil organic carbon is found in 10 countries in the world. That means that those countries are very rich in terms of carbon and they need to have policies to avoid the emission of that carbon to the atmosphere. But in other countries, what we need to do is to try to sequester more. There are very basic principles and practices. For instance, one is to avoid leaving the soil bare, to protect and leave crop residues on the soil cover, to avoid monocultures so that we increase soil biodiversity, and fundamentally we need to avoid changing the land use from grasslands to croplands, avoid deforestation, the removal of any vegetation. If we will be doing only those things, we will be increasing soil organic carbon sequestration, but we will be also increasing the quality of our soils, the quality of our food, and in general, the quality of our lives.